On this week's episode of Upstarts, we follow the journey of South African fine artist Lillian Gray, the owner of Lillian Gray Fine Art School. Lillian needed an outlet to escape the challenging landscape of her circumstances, and fine art was that distraction. She's been drawing since the earliest age of her childhood and is now best known for her life paintings and portraits. She has been able to turn her passion for art into a business and doing so with exponential growth and international fame. I'm Lillian Gray, South African fine artist and owner of the Lillian Gray Fine Art School. I had a very weird contrasting upbringing. Um, I was raised in the rural west coast, really in the middle of nowhere. Uh, my father kind of lost everything in 1992 with the change of all the politics and we grew up extremely poor. But he had this vision to build a town. So it taught me a lot of lessons and he created a town from scratch in the middle of nowhere. And today it's quite a holiday destination uh, and people love living on the seafront of the west coast. Um, for us, it was quite challenging, which meant we grew up without running water, without electricity, um, there was no TV, and we had to find alternative means to keep ourselves busy. I'm the youngest of four, so we had to do something, and for me, it was art. I kept myself busy by drawing and sketching, and I always had my sketchbook with me. After my matric, um, I wanted to do disaster management and relief, so I did that for a year and my father rang me up and he said to me, you better come home and you better get a degree. And I was like, okay, fine. And eventually I said to him, okay, dad, I really want to study art. And he said to me, you cannot be an artist, you'll starve, you'll die. And I said to him, but dad, I really have to study art, it's my passion, I can't be without it. So he said, fine, I'll set up a bargain with you. You can study art, but you also have to study business. And I said to him, fine, that's a deal. So I went off to Stellenbosch University. I studied fine arts. I moved over to Stellenbosch Design Academy and I did visual, um, visual communication degree. And then I finished an honors at Stellenbosch Business School in business. Um, so yeah, it's quite a fusion of things, but it's interesting to have this balance between left and right brain and art and business. I think the first time that I realised that my art can be an income is I started selling uh, drawings of horses on glass. When I was really small there was this horsing camp and I used to paint the horse that the person came to ride and they would sell the horse to the tourist. And the first time I realised I could be an artist was when I joined the Art Stedford competition as a child. I was nine years old and the competition I entered was a charcoal sketch and the judge came to me afterwards and he said please can I buy your drawing and that's the first drawing I sold and then I realized this is me this is my thing. Having faced pressures from her father to get a degree Lillian sidelined her dream of becoming an artist and pursued a career in brand strategy. She explains that the turning point of her career was when she became a mother and unforeseen circumstances forced her to become an entrepreneur founding the genesis of Lillian Gray, the brand. I got caught up in commercial art, art that pays for 10 years, and I worked really hard as a brand strategist, creating illustrations, gaming, animations, everything that paid. Um, I eventually got really bored and frustrated. I needed an outlet for myself. I think the trigger point for me was becoming a mother, and I didn't want an no pair to raise my children. And what actually the catalyst in this whole thing is I walked in and the au pair was shouting at my child and I lost it. And that evening I said to my husband, I resign, I'm like done, I'm gonna close my agency, I am going to be home with my kids. And he said to me, are you nuts? What are you gonna do? And I said to him, I'm going to paint. I'm just gonna do what I've been called to do. It has been amazing to be able to be home and work from home and create from home and the kids running around in my studio, literally under my feet as we create. And it's just a wonderful environment. I think for me, Lillian Gray started the day that I allowed myself to be an artist. I think there was so much conflict in the way my family I was raised and all this pressure to be a businesswoman that I always thought I had to be the one or the other. And I think when I hit 30, I realized I'm allowed to be both. And once I issued that ticket to myself that you're allowed to be both, I really launched into the brand of Lillian Gray. 
Lillian runs the day-to-day -day operations of the company with a small team of teaching assistants and administrative coordinators. The brand has expanded to a multifaceted business with services ranging from art classes, workshops, kids' holiday workshops and paint events. They're currently a team of seven. Um, Griselda are doing all the admin. I'm literally allergic to Excel and admin. I've never been good at it. I'm never going too good at it. Um, and we've got Godi that does installation and maintenance and does all my prepping as my assistant for an artist. Um, we've got five teachers. We teach ages six to 86. So we've got kids classes, teenage classes, adult classes. Then we've got art experiences, which is great. It's different mediums that we do like an intro course for adults and it's a lot of fun. We do ladies paint nights. Um, I love being married and I love being a couple. So I also do a lot of um, couple relationship building with art. So we do couple paint nights, which is quite a hit. And people leave feeling so much more appreciated or so much more connected with their spouse or their partner or whoever they're dating. We're quite a multifaceted business and it's actually like a lot of small businesses all in one. There's the art supplies that we sell in the art shop, there's the art classes that we've got, there's workshops, then there's corporate team builds and a lot of creative art experience events that we do. Um, there is me as a public speaker, there's also me as the artist, um, going around the world traveling, doing exhibitions. So I'm quite known for live painting and being at events and bringing creativity into that space. Um, I think what also makes our school quite unique is my love for art history. So we don't just teach you in a vacuum, we actually teach you what all the amazing artists did before you. Coming up next, Lillian expresses what has been her biggest business highlight and we delve in a little deeper into the success of her entrepreneurial journey.